All right, so what this video is about is uh, testing the amplifiers that I bought on uh, eBay. This one right here. You can see the guy took off the little wire clip. Okay. So I bought this on eBay because I thought I blew my amplifiers because my Mach 460 system stopped working and I did check my fuses but uh, I actually missed one fuse so here's amp number two okay so now I'll just show that my amplifier is working all right so that's working now I have a convertible Mustang so I'm gonna remove the seat um, I'm gonna install these amps and hopefully it's still working so I could uh, list these amps for sale and you might be watching the video because you are interested in these amps so let's go okay so Mustang convertible step one is there's a button in the center like right here that you have to push in to release the seat okay I just found it let me mount the camera okay so press that button first pull this up but as you can see I released the buttons and now she comes out. I see that's the clip. There's the button right there. Mine's a little messed up, but you push that in, it releases the seat, then you just push the seat up. Okay. Step two. Unscrew the seat. Right here. Unscrew these on both sides. And then you could pull that seat up. All right, here we are, 10 millimeter ratchet. Let's release the seat. There we go, okay, repeat the same on the other side. Now, we have to pull the seat up. All right, now we have to pull the seat up. And I have to move the seat out of the way. Right there, go to the other side. Move the little plastic piece out of the way. Okay, there we go. Here you can see my amplifiers. So mine actually have this plastic piece. Okay, so these are bolted in. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is actually just release the clips since I'm just testing. Rather than I have to unbolt them. Since I know I'm keeping mine. There's not a lot of room back there. That one I might have to release from the trunk. So let me just loosen that. Back, this one I could possibly get to. Okay, let me see if I can release this clip. There's a little button you push. nice that one is released so now I just have the other side that one actually I'm gonna try doing through the trunk I 
excellent. I released it from the other side. So, now I'm gonna hook up the other amps and see if they work. All right, so now I'm gonna hook up these amps, the eBay amps. It's one. You know, I'm just gonna play some loosely. Since this is just a test. Okay. All right. Okay. So it doesn't look pretty. Okay, that's okay. Because uh, we are just testing. So let's see if the radio works. Okay, definitely works. So that's why I made this video, so you can be sure that the amps you receive from this auction are fully operational. Like I said, I missed the fuse and it was actually the fuse um, that was broken, not the amps. So I bought these and as you can see, I have four amplifiers now. That one in back. So I need to sell these. They're perfect working condition and uh, I hope it fixes your problem. All right, so time to unhook these. Hard one hook. Okay, that's one. Two. There we go. Two amps for sale. Perfect working condition. Now I have to hook mine up. Easy connection, right? Okay, perfect. Okay. Let me just test one more time. The miner's still working. Okay. Okay, now time to put the seat back on. Okay, first get the seat ball out of the way. All right, and there's a little slot up here and a tab, of course, that slides into the slot. You gotta get it under this plastic piece. Process on the other side, move the seat belt, and pop it into the slot. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna put the screws back on. Before I tighten it, gotta do the other side. I have to align it a little bit. I'll just tighten with the ratchet. Perfect. Now, the other side. Alright, 10 millimeter screw by the way folks, now it's time to put in the seat bottom. So first, bring these up, okay, There 
there we go. Clicked into place and that was actually my sweat, so. There you go. That is how you install or remove amplifiers. And once again, you're probably watching this because of the eBay auction. They're really good working amps. So enjoy them. And here's how I made the mistake with the fuse. From this side, I mean, I guess I was looking at the letters and it looked okay. Kind of missed it. I didn't have a well lit area to look at this fuse, but look at this side. So, fuse number 25 was blown and not the amplifiers, which are now for sale. So, enjoy them. Yeah, 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 yeah